they don't respond, don't reciprocate, don't give you the same inkling. I don't want their response or reaction to you to crush you. Do you hear what I'm saying? I want to make sure you do. Even when someone rejects you and you feel that sense of rejection, I don't want it to crush you or your dreams. Hi y'all, I'm Giovanna Vidal. I am an actor. You may know me from the Darman YouTube videos. Uh, and I'm also an author of the recently published number one best-selling book, Teen Anxiety, No More. <laughs> so yes, I am here to give you another message as to how I combat my morning anxiety. I want to share something based on a comment I received recently and um, it was a really beautiful comment and I was so touched by it and it was just incredibly vulnerable and incredibly um, forthright and therefore it was brave and courageous and I wanted to make a video on it. So here we go. Sharing from your heart is a beautiful thing. It shows and demonstrates so much of your character, of your ability to wear your heart on your sleeve. Yes, it's vulnerable, but it also shows your strength. And that might be counterintuitive. Those are pretty much pretty opposing characteristics, right? Being vulnerable and being strong, they aren't usually equated to be in the same person. However, it's so true that whoever is vulnerable is strong. So I wanted to touch on this because um, so often we share from our heart and sometimes, you know, the recipient might not reciprocate and you feel crushed. You feel let down, you feel disappointed, you feel embarrassed, you feel shame, you feel guilt. You can feel all these different emotions, sometimes simultaneously, believe it or not. And that is what I wanted to talk about because I wanted to share with you that sharing from your heart should always be your priority. It is in those moments when we do open ourselves up and risk embarrassment and shame and risk guilt feeling guilty or disappointment or let down those are the moments that define us those are the moments that really give us an opportunity to demonstrate to ourselves what we're built of and that is a powerful thing so let's say you share with someone that you like them or you love them if you've been with them for a little while and they don't respond, don't reciprocate, don't give you the same inkling. I don't want their response or reaction to you to crush you. Do you hear what I'm saying? I want to make sure you do. Even when someone rejects you and you feel that sense of rejection, I don't want it to crush you or your dreams. It is so important that we uphold ourselves and realize that if we're not for this person or that person, that we're for somebody. And this has taken me my whole lifetime to understand because as an actor, we get rejected so frequently, so many times a day, <laughs> we get told no so many times a week gosh darn i think i've done the math on another video like hundreds of thousands of no's us actors have the potential to have heard in our career and so we have this sense of like you know having to grow a thicker skin and despite growing a thicker skin so that it doesn't hurt you or affect you as much i want to also say that it is so important to keep your heart open you cannot permit anyone to crush your heart or your dreams it is not a way to live life the minute you permit that you build a wall around you you build this like barrier 
between you and this other person, perhaps other people, and even against the world. That's not how you want to live this life. You don't want to be jaded. You don't want to be grumpy. <laughs> you don't want to be or uh, grouchy or angry at the world because someone didn't reciprocate the way you wanted them to, right? So one of the things that I think is so incredible about us humans is the ability to present ourselves and, and know ourselves and allow ourselves to be seen, right? And not in a presentational way, but like when you allow yourself to be seen, there's nothing more empowering, right? So again, it is a strength to be vulnerable. It's incredibly brave. I think that's why so many of us love those really strong, powerful performances from major actors. It's like when we can see them, their struggle, their internal dialogue, their challenges, that is what gravitates us towards those award-winning performances. But not everyone is equipped to handle or reciprocate how you may feel right they may even dismiss you or disqualify you because you're too easy to get or you're not enough of a challenge or there's not enough of a chase right and that is a really interesting thing because the very thing that so many of us want will push away some of us again aren't ready or equipped to do certain things even though we might want them right we might want a relationship but we might be like oh it's not the right time i'm busy with school or work or i'm traveling for the next few months going away and i don't want to get into something right now right so a lot of reasons can come into play as to why you perhaps aren't considered or because you're not enough of a challenge or because you know maybe they just aren't into you in that way it's a possibility right there's so many reasons why someone might not pursue you in the same manner that you want to pursue them and that is okay it's happened to all of us and it's gonna happen at some point or another this doesn't mean you shut down on the contrary you learn from the experience you dust yourself off and you're just like okay that wasn't for me let's see what is so again i want to bring it back to this point don't let anyone crush you your heart your dreams just because the timing doesn't work for them so yes this has happened to me i've had some really awful breakups right i've had some mean ghosting <laughs> Or yeah, I was totally like not responded to or acknowledged. Yeah, it's awful feeling at the moment from wanting to find someone that was for me, right? And I love mine and Oscar's story because it gives you an example of how sometimes it can take a long time, but it's so worth it when you do find that right person. Yeah, sometimes that's gonna be the case. But I'm a firm believer that if I'm not for someone, then I want them to find the right person for them. And that means I can still have my person out there waiting for me. So I don't want us to harp on any one situation that this is the person that you've been waiting for and the only person that's meant for you. Because again, it needs to be reciprocated. So I hope this video kind of helped you be okay with perhaps being rejected or um, ghosted. <laughs> It's a sucky feeling, but again, it's gonna happen as long as you don't let it get to you and you just brush it off as just a learning opportunity and you just let it be a learning experience. And then that's how you don't get jaded or grouchy or grumpy or angry with anyone in the world because you're like, okay, next. <laughs> And I always think of my mom and my grandma who always said, and I've said it before, but I'm going to say it again. Hombre que te deja, favor que te hace. In Spanish, in English, that translates to man or woman who leaves you. They're doing you a favor. 
so don't get upset with breakups or you know parting ways or you know growing out or outgrowing one another it just means closer to your person so again i hope this video helps you kind of just keep perspective as to what it's like to go sometimes from person to person finding your person and just enjoying the lessons along the way all right everybody i can't wait to see you next time thank you for watching please like subscribe if you haven't and share with friends maybe someone needs to hear this today and you can help them out and um yeah more videos to be had in the meantime watch all these other videos that i have here on this channel for you and your journey and our journey together so thank you for supporting liking subscribing sharing and um leaving comments it means the world to me all right y'all till next time bye for now so if you like this video go check out the others. I got lots of videos on this channel, so keep watching.